Let's take a look at converting a ClojureScript web app into a native desktop app. Recently, I was thinking about putting my web game Asterog on the Steam store. This would require me to turn it into a native desktop game. And so I researched different ways of porting web apps to the desktop. I found a pretty good solution, and I'm gonna show you how we can quickly create a native desktop app using ClojureScript. Let's start by creating a new project folder, and then I'm gonna use Josh in it to set up a basic front-end ClojureScript project with no build step. We can run Josh to launch the server, and then go to localhost 8000 to see the app running. We can edit main.cljs, and when we modify the code and save it, it live reloads in the running app. So we have a basic working ClojureScript front-end project. Now, before we continue, I'm going to create a www folder. I'm going to move everything in there. So now let's turn the contents of this www folder into a native app. There are a few different solutions to running web apps as native apps, with the most famous being Electron.js. There's also Tori, which is a Rust-based solution, nw.js, and capacitor.js, which I've used in the past for porting mobile apps. Today, we're going to use Neutralino.js. And the first reason I like Neutralino.js is it actually works. Some of the solutions I've tried before didn't seem to work on my Linux desktop. The second reason is you can do the whole cross compilation process from under Linux, so you don't actually have to do the build on those operating systems. The third reason is it doesn't need a big download. When I've used Electron in the past, the package size seemed to be quite large. And the fourth reason is the binary size is very small for the Neutralino JS artifacts. You can build a Windows app that's around 2.5 megabytes. And the way it seems to work is by bundling your app with a binary, which finds whatever web browser is installed on the user's computer and uses that to start the window. And this works because most users today have a web browser installed. So to get started, I'm going to create a basic empty package.json. And then I'm going to npm install neutralino.js slash new. Once that's done, we can say npx new create and use dot to tell it to install into the current directory. So this creates a bunch of new files and folders. We've still got our www folder with our web app in it. We've also got this bin folder and that contains the neutralino binaries. And we've also got this resources folder. And if you look in here, it contains a small web app. So the way Neutralino works is it takes these very small wrappers from the bin folder and combines them with your web resources from the resources folder. So let's start by moving resources out of the way. And we're going to symlink our www folder to resources. So that way we've replaced the resources folder with a symlink to our www folder. So the other important file is this neutralino.config.json. Let's take a quick look at the config. So there's a whole bunch of things you can change in here, but to get a basic working version, you don't actually need to change very much. The first thing I'm going to find is exit pro process on close. Now this is set to false, but you should set it to true because without that, the app won't exit correctly and you'll have to write your own exit handler. And the second thing you should change is to comment out or remove this line client library, which loads the neutralino.js client library. We can do that because we're not actually using any native neutralino features. But if you do want to use those features, then leave it in there. And of course, copy that file from the old resources folder into your own web app. And then the other thing you want to change here is we don't yet have an icon. So we're just going to remove this icon line so it doesn't try to find it during the build. And so we can now run npx new run and that'll load our hello world app with the dev tools open in our native window here. And we can check that that's working correctly. So now I'm going to close that one down and we can try our first build. So we say npx new build embed resources. This embed resources flag is quite new. And what that does is it bundles up the web app resources into a single file with the binary. Otherwise you have to ship the resources separately. So let's go ahead and run that. And you can see there, it says it's written to the disk directory. So let's look at dist. And here are our binaries. CLJS app Mac Universal, CLJS app Win X64, and CLJS app Linux. So I'm going to copy that Windows binary over to a Windows machine for testing. And so now over here on Windows, we can run our app. And as you can see, the same app loads with the uh, dev tools open as well. And so that's a very fast way to get a ClojureScript app ported over as a native Windows app. Now let's copy that over to a Mac and we'll launch that one from the desktop. And again, here we have our ClojureScript app running as a native Mac desktop app. Now that terminal window that opens when we launch this is not ideal. And I'll note that it is possible to create a more traditional Mac app, which when you double click it, it just opens the one window. And the way to do that is by creating an app structure like this with the Neutralino binary in the macOS subfolder and an info.plist. And that info.plist can be quite minimal with just a few fields in it. So if you're creating a native Mac app, that's the way to proceed with that. So those are the steps to get a minimal app working. Now let's take a look at config options for making it a little bit nicer. So the first thing we can do is add the icon back in. And I'm just going to call this icon.png under the resources folder. And I'm going to go to Twimoji cheat sheet app and search for green circle and use that as my app icon. I click on that, click on SVG, and I can get the URL here. Now back in my terminal, I can W get that URL and move that file to icon.svg. And I'm going to edit icon.svg and just add a width and a height, width 500px, height 500px, and then save that. 
and now I can run convert background none icon.svg www slash icon.png which is the destination file so I run that and we can take a look at our PNG the other things that are useful to edit are the application ID here you can give it a reverse domain ID like that and the other thing you can change here is the window title so I might change that to uppercase CLJS app and there's a bunch of other things you can configure as well so now let's do another build with those changes and we'll copy our Windows binary back over to Windows. And one other thing we probably want to change here is when we run this, we've still got the dev tools showing up. And in the production app, we probably don't want that. And you can do that in the config by setting enable inspector to false. We'll save that one and we'll do another build and copy that one over to Windows. And we'll run that once again. And now you can see it starts without that developer console inspector. And there are a lot of other things you can do with that config. And if you use a Neutralino client library, you can also hook into other OS level things that might be useful. But if you just want to get a basic single page ClojureScript web app running as a native desktop app, this is an effective way to do it. And so I hope that's been useful. Best of luck with your ClojureScript based native desktop apps. And thanks for watching.